So when I think of Monkey Man, I think of this guy, the Monkey Man from Hey Arnold that runs around the streets and yells, Hey, I'm Monkey Man. Hey everyone, my name is Ryan and welcome into the channel. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. Today we'll be talking about the action film called Monkey Man. Now this film, it was directed by Deb Patel and this is his directorial debut. It also stars Deb Patel and it also stars Charteau Copley. Now this film, it is about a young man who is taking his vengeance out on corrupt leaders. And I'm not gonna read too much of the synopsis because on IMDb, it completely spoils what's going on in this movie. Now going into this film, it was marketed in a way that this was going to be the new Indian John Wick, which when I heard that, I was like, I just really hope not because with John Wick, I'm getting a little bit sick of these kinds of movies where they're very mindless. They don't have a lot of plot. It's over the top action. There's parts where people should just die a million times and you have to really suspend your disbelief when you're watching films like this. And I'm happy to say and debunk that, that this is not a Indian John Wick. It definitely is something of its own. It has a lot of flair in its visuals, its politics. There is a big political thing going on with an election and how they're really stealing from the powerless and poor and they're taking over the land in India and there's just so much corruption going on. Everything really happening with that political stance and just different things going on within the film. I like that we do build Deb Patel here because his character, we get a little bit of flashbacks and a lot of this film there is a lot of flashbacks. We're learning about his childhood, we're learning about his mother, and we're learning what really makes him tick. He's very poor so he has to fight and he's not a very good fighter. And I like in here that they actually feature Charteau Copley because he is someone that I've seen in other films like District 9 and I really like him as an actor and even though he doesn't have a very big part I really like when he was on screen certain visuals in here I like the different colors and the different costumes within India you really have to check your expectations when you're going to this film because it's not a non-stop action film it starts off a little bit slower and then it actually builds into action I think the fight choreography here is pretty good I definitely think that they are taking some certain things from John Wick within the fight choreography and they actually reference John Wick a few times in this film, which I thought was pretty clever because that is a film right now where people just love that franchise overall. And I think that's the biggest draw, obviously, to this film. And even with that fight choreography and just kind of what is going on with our main character and why he's doing what he's doing, I really liked it. They didn't really make him a character where he should be dead a million times, which is great because there's only maybe one or two scenes where it gets a little bit over the top and you're like, okay, maybe he should be probably hurt or dead. The soundtrack here is very customized. They have some Indian music in here. They have some rap music in here. They have some metal music in here. And they have some softer music as well. And I did like the blend of the soundtrack throughout this film because it did showcase a little bit of that Indian culture. But then you had some other tracks that were thrown in there and you're like, okay, I'm bumping a little bit. That's really cool. Certain visuals when those songs are actually going on, I was like, okay, this really fits this whole part of the movie. Although I will say there was one little nitpicky thing where there is a fight scene going on. They have this really soft music. It almost sounds like a harp or something really soft instrument that they're playing. And I was like, this doesn't fit. And then it cuts to a metal song. And I was like, okay, so now we're picking up the intensity of the movie. Leaning into the negatives now, I do have a few of them, which really bogs down the score because I definitely would have gave this film a little bit better score if not for these negatives. First off, we'll talk about characterization. Now, other than Deb Patel, there is no characterization with anybody else in this film. Deb Patel, he does have a story and there is an exact reason as to why he is fulfilling this vengeance against this political leader, which I can definitely respect. And I was cool with that story and it made sense. So I had no gripes with that, but there's nobody else in this film that has any characterization to really add to this film. Camera work in this film is not good whatsoever. It feels like the cameraman just put his finger on that zoom button and just zoomed in on the characters 
so much in this film. There is shaky cam in this film. Even when they're just trying to hold the camera steady and show two characters talking, the camera is shaken and rocking back and forth. The action scenes, there are a lot of parts where the action scenes could have been elevated a little bit more if we could actually see what's going on in the film, but the camera is shaking back and forth all over the place. There were parts where I literally couldn't even look at the screen because just the quality of the camera work is just absolutely awful. I wish I could say I was over exaggerating, but I really felt at times like I was watching like a found footage horror film, shaky cam. I mean, come on, like that's kind of camera 101 and action scenes 101. It just felt very amateur and I was very disappointed by that. There's one female character that Dev Patel mingles with a little bit. I thought they were going to develop their relationship a little bit more and she does have one cool action scene towards the end of the film which was really cool but unfortunately they don't really develop that relationship enough and she feels a little bit slid by the wayside. I definitely felt like she could have had a little bit more prominent role in the story. I felt it could have used a little bit more action because in the first part of the film it's a little bit slower. They don't really develop a lot of story. They just kind of drop you in. They don't really tell you everything that's going on so you may feel a little bit confused and I do think that some people when they watch this they're gonna be a little bit confused when they first watch it it goes into that second act where there's a little bit of action and they're developing a little bit more and then it slows down and it meanders a little bit and it goes into a part where you have him kind of training up and he's wanting to fight and it feels like they're really hyping up to something really really big and they kind of meander a little bit and it slows the film down a little bit within the pacing but then it gets into that third act and it really picks up and you really are amped up with some of the action that's going on, which I really did like. This film, it definitely has its bloody moments. It's not overly bloody, and there's definitely more films out there where they're a lot more bloody, but I do think it does have its moments where it is really bloody, and I was like, cool, I really like that. I like what they did there and the style there. I can definitely appreciate that about the film. Overall, for a score for me for this film, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. I kind of teetered back and forth between a two and a half and a three out of five, but I will give it a three out of five. Overall, I would say that if they would have corrected the camera work a little bit and that zoom button, I think I would have liked it a lot more. I definitely appreciate that it's not a generic film and it definitely tries to have some type of story, but I think what hurts it overall from getting a better score is just the lack of characterization. And overall, it's a film that I don't really feel like I would go to revisit and that's mainly because the camera work just drives me up a wall. I really can't stand when they're shaky cam and unfortunately this film it just has too much of that and that's why I can't really give it a higher score. However I want to hear from you guys what did you guys think about this film? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you just think it was kind of meh? Are you going to check it out in theaters? Are you going to stream it or are you going to skip it altogether? Leave any and all comments down below. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.